Welcome back to the Afrisada Kit platform. I am Julia Jogona and of course the CEO and founder of Afrisada Kit. We continue to look at the lives of those who have made it, those who have succeeded in the various fields pertaining to career paths, entrepreneurship and innovation. For today I want us to look at the life of one Danson Moshemi, one of the youngest billionaires, if not a billionaire then let's say a multi-millionaire in Kenya. He is the CEO and founder of Jabope. His story is very inspirational. Imagine he founded his company, which is worth billions, from just but a cyber cafe. Before we deep dive into the information or the, the details pertaining Jambope, let's look at the life of Danson Moshemi. Danson Moshemi was born in Nyandarwa County. As a young boy, he used to engage in one of the most common ventures for young boys back in the village, uh, that is rabbit farming. He used to farm rabbits. He could sell some of them and they could consume some. Yeah, and uh, it was just a normal venture, a normal boy's venture, a normal venture for a boy back in the village. From primary school, he then proceeded to Govio Boys. And after Govio Boys, he went to Strathmore, where he pursued a diploma in information management system. After pursuing the diploma in information management system from Strathmore, he then proceeded to Kenyatta University. Here at Kenyatta University, Danson initially wanted to pursue a course in environmental science. But when he got into the course, he realized that it wasn't giving him some sort of a trigger. It wasn't um, pushing him not only to think outside the box, but instead to blow the box. So what did he do? Uh, he then decided to shift and to get into um, another course. He decided to pursue telecommunication and information management. He knew by pursuing this course of telecommunication and information management, it could give him some sort of a trigger. It could serve as a trigger to get him think outside the box, to blow the box and maybe get some kind of, um, some kind of uh, mind-blowing ideas on, about solving various, uh, 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 solving various problems in life, bearing in mind that technology is, the, uh, is determining both our current and our future life. While pursuing his course here at Kenyatta University, he was still running an enterprise. He used to run some kind of a cyber, cyber service kind of a stuff where he could sell some lecture notes, movies, and also do some printing, scanning, and the rest of those services. Come 2009, he graduates from Kenyatta University. After graduating from Kenyatta University, of course, we expect the same as it is usual for all of us who graduate from colleges and universities. You are going there outside to get a job. But for Danson, the aim was a, bit, uh, was a bit different. His mind was all focused to the entrepreneurial world. So what did he do? He sat down and thought of starting or uh, getting into the world of e-commerce. He wanted to establish an e-commerce platform. Uh, we can think about, um, I think like Jumia and the rest. When he was planning on how to lay the structure about his e-commerce platform, he realized that he had one of the key challenges that he did not have access to a reliable payment platform. Without access to a reliable payment platform, then it means it would be challenging to set up an e-commerce platform. To him, the challenge did not present some sort of an obstacle towards his entrepreneurial journey. But instead, Danson now viewed this problem of not having a reliable payment platform as another business idea. He said, okay, what if I can now think about this stuff and come up with a reliable payment platform. And that's what he did. And this now gave the birth to the idea of Jumbo Pay. The most interesting part of the story now comes here. After getting the idea of now developing a reliable and effective electronic payment platform. Now the name, Jumbo Pay. After getting the idea, Danson did not have enough capital. Of course, we know that financial constraints is one of the biggest and most common challenge amongst uh, those who want to venture into the world of entrepreneurship. He had nearly about, uh, we are talking about 100,000. And now he needed a computer and of course a conducive environment to get started with the idea of developing the Jumbo Pay Now platform. With the minimum capital that he had, he realized that, okay, I cannot be able to purchase a computer and even get some sort of an office to develop the idea. So what can I do? What's the easier way out? Approached a guy who had a cyber cafe. He went to the guy and told the guy, see, I want us to get into this deal. I want us to agree that I'll be coming here. I'll be working from here. 
So I want you to list me a small portion of your cyber cafe and one of the desktops. The guy agreed to list a small portion and a desktop to Danson at 4,500 per month. After getting the small portion and a desktop at the cyber cafe, this was now his routine. He used to report here daily for the next six months. After six months, the entire idea of JabuPay was now developed and documented. It was now fully structured. Everything was now in order. After completing the development and documentation of JabuPay, Danson realized that for you to get any payment platform verified and okayed to operate within the Kenyan market, you must then align with the guidelines and regulations of the Central Bank of Kenya. So, Danson emailed the guys from the Central Bank of Kenya. In the email, he requested to be oriented on the regulations pertaining to getting his idea of payment platform rolled out in the Kenyan market. Within two weeks, the guys from the Central Bank of Kenya emailed back and invited Danson for some orientation. And now JumboPay was okayed to operate within the Kenyan market. A key breakthrough came in 2014. In 2014, I&M Bank agreed to use JumboPay as a platform to facilitate their transactions. Following the I&M Bank contract, now other top-notch clients started to come in. We can talk about clients uh, from the various, uh, from both the public and the private sector. Here we are talking about top clients such as the Nation Media Group, we are talking about Uchumi Supermarket, various uh, insurance firms and also various government organizations. One of the key contracts from the government side, we can talk about a contract that JumboPay was given by the Nairobi County government to facilitate the automation of the revenue collection process. Since then, the growth of JumboPay has been tremendous. Right now, we are talking about a customer base of about 3,500 clients. Um, and they have, JumboPay has been able to facilitate over that 2 million transactions, which are amounting to about $2 billion. JumboPay has been able to place Danson on the limelight. He has been pointed out as one of the key entrepreneurs in Africa, revolutionizing the world or the world of finance. This has attracted him a number of awards and recognitions. Some of the awards include uh, the Google Innovation Award of 2014 and the All Africa Business Leader Award of 2016. In terms of recognition, we have Forbes and the Business Daily, which have ranked him as top 30, under 30, and top 40, under 40, respectively. It is also worth noting that JumboPay now occupies two floors within the same building where Danson developed the idea from just but a cyber cafe. We can be able to pick two key lessons from the story of Danson. Lesson number one, when faced by an obstacle on your journey to success, don't give up, but rather find a solution. It might be the next big thing. Lesson number two, let financial constraints not deter you from realizing and achieving your dreams. Danson started with whatever small he had. I hope the story of Danson Moshemi motivates you and indicates unto you that in fact, all dreams are valid as long as you keep on pushing till the very end. I'll keep giving you such stories of those who have made it and succeeded in the various fields to keep you motivated and to indicate unto you that, of course, everything is possible. You can also indicate in the comment section whose story you want to hear next. And of course, I'll serve you accordingly. Otherwise, till the next one, I wish you the very best. Thank you.